I like most about Android is that you can switch their keyboards. For example, if you do not like Samsung's custom keyboard, which honestly I don't think anybody likes, you can go onto the Google Play Store and download a different keyboard. For example, you can download the Google the Google keyboard. Or what I have is a keyboard called Swift Key, and this is my favorite keyboard even though it is about four bucks. Now don't be turned off about the price because it has a lot of features in it. And let's go over that. <clears throat> First off, uh, Swift Key is able to swipe just like any other keyboard on, on Android. So I can say hello to everyone. Now, if you saw, I did not lift my thumb off of the screen. That's because one of my favorite features is that you get to glide over the spacebar and it will automatically register that as a space. Now also, if you press and hold the number thing, the number key, uh, you can have options to go compact. So let's say you have a Galaxy Note 3 and you want to go one-handed, then there you go. Or if you have a tablet and you're running Swift Key, then you can have a split keyboard. And another useful tab tablet feature is that you can undock the keyboard and resize it however you want. Let's bring it back down. Let's bring it back to full. Also, you can resize the keyboard to your preferences. I personally like it at here because I can one hand it. And you can also have set custom themes. So I currently have the light theme on and it comes pre-installed with all these themes. So let's try out uh, dark. So if we go back into my notes, you can see it's very flat and very refined and it still has all the same features. Um, the cool thing about SwiftKey is that it keeps up to date on information on the internet and like it predicts popular words. So let's say in the next five years you pull out your, your old Galaxy S4 and it has this keyboard installed. It'll most likely be updated to use the most recent words and the most popular words. So let's say, I don't know, swag is gone. It'll probably not have swag on here, even though swag should be gone by now. Um, let's go back into the settings now. And you can see it has cloud, Swift Key, Swift key Cloud. So you can uh, customize, like, or you can back up your keyboard to their cloud services. You can choose a different language, which I'll quickly screw, scroll through the languages. You can see they have quite a few and some weird squiggly languages. And like I said, you can set custom themes. You can choose to have arrow keys on the bottom too. So let me go back into the My Notes app. And you can see that there are arrow keys along the bottom so you can go to the top of the page, the bottom of the page. Um, you can have accents, accented characters, and you can choose to have the number pad on the left. For example, right here. So you can see that it's more, it's more of a phone number pad rather than the normal across the top. Let's go back into settings, go back. You can choose to have it press on sounds and vibrations. You can have, you can choose different input methods or you can turn off input methods. And it also in integrates Google Voice prediction or dictation typing if you want that turned on. And you have some advanced settings uh, like spacebar completion mode, which basically it'll autocorrect after you press the spacebar. And you can turn that off if you want. Um, a quick period, if you double tap the space bar, it'll add a period after the word you just typed. Auto capitalize, capitalize the beginning of sentences. Uh, you can choose the different long, pre long key press duration. So, and you can choose notifications. So I recently got a notification in my st statistics that I got saved over 10,000 keystrokes. Now this is really cool. This is the statistics page. Let's go to my typing heat map. 
Now, I posted this on my Facebook page uh, earlier as a teaser. Now, let's let this load up. And it will basically show you like blobs of your typing heat map, basically. You know, like where do you press the most when you type on the keyboard. And it changes every so often. You, know, you can't see it right now, but it's there, nevertheless. Um, it, yeah, so that's the statistics page. Let's go back, and you have support and about Swift Key. So I've been using Swift Key for about, uh, I'd say, three months, and I am never going back to any other keyboard. Now I know it's a quite a, it's quite a, a bit expensive for a keyboard, about three to four bucks, but I think it's worth it for its features, its very accurate predictions, and its very accurate swipe typing. It's able to swipe and then go to the space bar and it'll register that, has, that it has a space bar. And all these expanded features and themes that it has. Uh, let me go into Neon and try that out. So there you go. Anyways, this, this is just a quick app review to check out SwiftKey. Oh, it's probably not quick. Um, but. This is an app review of SwiftKey, and if you have any Android device, you can download this right now. I would highly suggest downloading this. You can try it out. They have a free version. Um, anyways, that will be it for my video. Please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. There will be a button probably around here as I speak. Uh, comment on the video. Uh, I am trying to do a couple of different setups. Tell me which one is your favorite, and please yeah, comment. I will try to reply to everyone. I will reply to everyone. And go ahead and like my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, and so forth. And again, subscribe. I will have that right here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Tech News Hawaii. I'll see you later, folks.